Hi. So you've been feeling a little anxious lately. Well, time spent to regather yourself and calm down is never time wasted. So find yourself a comfortable space where you will be uninterrupted for the next few minutes. Set aside any thoughts of yesterday or tomorrow and let's focus solely on the present moment that we may bring back our minds to a state of calm and collectedness. As you either sit down or lie down, place your hands on your upper chest and stomach. As you breathe, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Notice as your stomach rises and falls while your chest remains as still as possible. I'm going to count you off. Breathing in, one, two, three, four. Hold that breath, two, three, four. And breathing out, two, three, four, five, six. And again, two, three, four, Hold, two, three, four, and with the next out breath, gently close your eyes. So we repeat, two, three, four, as you breathe in, feeling the stomach expand, and as you breathe out, imagine releasing that tension that has built up in your mind. Imagine those negative thoughts and feelings leaving your body together with your out breath. Continue this for a few more moments, and if your mind wanders, gently bring it back to the rising and falling of your stomach, focusing on the sensation of the breath. You can now place your hands anywhere you feel comfortable, as your breath goes back to its natural pattern. Notice your mood for today. Is there a feeling of restlessness or do you feel rather calm? Do you feel energetic or tired? Take this time to check in on your body to see how it's feeling. Assuring yourself that whatever mood you are in right now, you are dedicating time to feeling even a little bit better. And that's a win. So congratulations. It's important to know exactly what anxiety is, so that we may not be afraid of it, so that we may not fight it, and so we may accept it for what it is and reject it for what it's not. Anxiousness is normal. Everyone goes through it because it's our body's natural response to stress. Remember, there are good amounts of stress that your body needs to function. Although, there are certain times when we take on a little more than necessary, so our mind's control center struggles to keep up, causing us to feel rather unsettled and worried. Now, let go for a moment and allow your thoughts to come and go, as if watching cars pass by with you sitting on the side of a highway, not holding on to anything in particular, not trying to change anything, just being aware and noticing the things that have been on your headspace. If you feel as if there's one thought that you cannot let go of, you can acknowledge that thought, not as particularly bad or good, but just as it is, a thought. Now, without judgment of this thought, you can allow for your mind to let it go, bringing your attention back to the rising and falling of your chest and stomach. Now continue to observe your thoughts. I'm here to remind you that whatever it is you are feeling, that is a true and a valid feeling. Although your thoughts aren't necessarily true. Just because you're thinking them, it doesn't mean it's true. These thoughts only become true and tangible when we take actions towards them. And right now, you're watching them. They are merely thoughts floating in space not affecting anyone or anything. And you are not your thoughts. When you feel as if you are thinking more about what could possibly happen 
or what has happened, instead of what you could do about a situation, take the time to pause, to collect your calm by breathing and staying still, and then coming back to the present moment. My counselor encouraged me to make friends with the anxious little part of me. As she reminded me, I'm not an anxious person. Instead, there's a part of me that is. So I don't have to try to kick it out of my system. Instead, I may learn to tame it instead of fear it. How about trying to check in on that anxious part of you? What's that little guy doing? Is he running around and causing a bit of mischief with the rest of the parts? Or is he minding his own business? Whatever it is, imagine asking him what he is worried about today. What do you think he would respond? The anxious parts of us are actually there to help us. They're there to shed light onto things that we might need to deal with, or they're there to help us properly respond to a situation. Although, as I have mentioned earlier, they too can get a little carried away. Give your anxious part a little assurance today. Thank him for highlighting the things that need to be tended to in your own life, and assure him that at this present moment, you are doing what you can to settle him. Master Ugwe reminds us that yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. Let us remember that the past is there to help us, not to haunt us. The future is there to encourage us instead of intimidate us, and this present moment is a gift that we have been so graciously given, so let us treat it as the blessing that it is. Maybe ask yourself, what could I do at this present moment to assure the anxious parts of me that he need not to worry? Now, let us bring our attention back to the breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. In, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And out, two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And out, two, three, four, five, six. Philippians 4 verse 6 tells us, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. So I invite you to join me in a little prayer. It's called the Serenity Prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as a pathway to peace, taking, as Jesus did, this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that you will make all things right if I surrender to your will, so that I may reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with you forever in the next. I'd like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community where anyone and everyone can begin their creative journey. With thousands of inspiring classes, whether you're a beginner, pro, or just a curious and open person, Skillshare's classes will be able to fit both your schedule and skill level. I've found that exploring my creative self has really been helping my mental health at this time. I actually took a class on mindfulness meditation by Zachary Phillips on Skillshare, and he helped me establish a great foundation on the benefits and the process of being focused on the here and now. 
If you're more of an artist, you can check out Lacey Jordan's class on digital illustration for all. I was greatly inspired by her class to be a little more in touch with my painting or drawing skills today. It's less than $10 a month for an annual subscription, and the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link on my description will get a two-month free trial of premium membership. So you too can explore your creativity. So I hope you enjoyed this addition to my Listen to This If series. Um, if you noticed on my Spotify, I already have one up there, which is basically Listen to This If You're New Here. And I wanted to do these episodes just so that you guys would get to know a different side of me. It doesn't always have to be just cuento. <laughs> and yeah, today is Listen to This If You're Anxious just because I have also struggled with you know anxious thoughts and these have been stuff that people have shared to me to help cope with those things and i hope that you also know that it is not something to be ashamed of you know it's a very difficult time for a lot of people right now and so be kind to yourself take it slow and i hope that this episode helped you if you would want more videos on this please let me know you can tweet me you can dm me on instagram with the hashtag quantus with hannah Okay, yeah, that's the end of this video and podcast. Thank you so much for listening or watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.